pretty wild. So if you just follow general relativity math, right, the 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 object collapses under its own weight. Mm -hmm. As it collapses, the gravity on its surface continues to rise. It reaches a point where the gravity on the surface has an escape velocity greater than the speed of light. At that point, light does not escape, but it continues to collapse. When we talk about the size of a black hole, functionally, we're talking about the size of the event horizon. Mm -hmm. But inside the event horizon, all bets are off. So the matter keeps shrinking. According to the general theory of relativity, the gravity is so severe that nothing can stop it. And it shrinks to zero, zero volume. volume. Yeah, right. And wow, that and that's just crazy. That, right. What does that even mean? So yeah. What does so it mean? We all presume that there's some other law of physics that's going to prevent that, but that calculation is at the limits of the applicability of the general theory of relativity. Gotcha. So that's why we know in advance that the general theory of relativity has limits. Right. Limits to its applicability. 